Hey, what is up everyone? Welcome back to a brand new Roblox Studio video. My name is Floppy. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a kick all developer product in Roblox Studio. So for starters, we're going to want to make sure our explorer and properties are enabled. If, if our explorer and properties are not enabled, head up to the top bar here, click on view and enable explorer and properties and they should show up somewhere over your screen. You then want to click back on home and then we're going to go and actually create the part that is going to be prompting our developer product so you can either use a button here on the ground from a part with a click detector or you can use this a script from starter GUI or like a button on starter GUI which will prompt the product so for this tutorial that's what we'll be doing so I'm gonna go and click on the plus button insert a screen GUI and then insert a text button inside of the screen GUI you can move the text button around you can add corners to it etc you can change the color but we're just gonna leave it just like that I'm then going to click on the plus button next to the text button and insert a local script. So now that you've inserted a local script inside of your text button, you want to go down to the description of this video, copy and paste the code that's in the description, remove all the previous code and paste in the new code. You then want to go and change this to your product ID. Now if you don't already have a developer product ID, head up here, click back on our untitled game or your game right here, click on home and then you want to head over to game settings, monetization. And then where it says developer products, you wanna click create, and then this will create you a developer product. Click on the three dots, click edit, change the name of your developer product. We're just gonna leave it at developer product, just like that. And then we'll keep it, the price at one, but if you wanna have it at 10,000, you can have it at 10,000. It's up to you. Click back on game settings, monetization, and then you wanna click on the three dots again, click copy ID to clipboard, then click cancel, then go back to your script, and then you wanna go and paste in that developer product ID. So if we had to go join into the game now and we close our script and we go play now and we click on this button, this will just prompt our developer product purchase for players to be able to purchase the developer product. But if they go in to purchase the developer product, nothing will happen. So now that you've gone and finished off the text button and in the local script, we want to head over here in the server script service, click on the plus button and insert a script. You then want to go down to the description of this video, copy and paste the code that is in the description. Bring it back to Roblox Studio, remove all the previous code, and then paste in the new code. Now what we're going to want to do here, here on line 1, it basically goes local product ID, basically identifying on what our product ID is. So we, so we need to go and change this ID, so we will want to head back to our text button over here, copy this ID which we are using, and then we want to paste that in here because what the script is going to do is it is going to check if that um, product ID has been purchased, if so, then the player will be kicked. Then we go to the local marketplace service, we get the service of marketplace service. So then it creates a local function, it identifies a couple more things over here, and then this is where it all happens. So if received product ID equals our product ID, then this will happen, which will eventually lead to the player being kicked. And then if you wanna change what the player messages message actually shows, for example, you are kicked by anonymous, for example. You would change this, you are kicked by anonymous. So as mentioned here, you can change oops to whatever you want the player to who has been kicked to see on their kicked out message. So you know how usually it says you've been kicked from this experience, you're able to change that and to whatever you would like. So for this tutorial, I've just gone and put oops, but you can go and change it to whatever you would like. So now let's say you wanted here in the kick message for it to actually say who the kicker is. What we would want to do, we would go want to go over here below on line 10. And then the, past the then, we would want to go and type in a local kicker. Kicker equals uh, player dot, the capital player, player dot name, just like that. So now we are identifying what our kicker is. And then here in the kicker message, we can go and do this. So the oops dot, uh, or oops, you were kicked by that. And then you would just go after the quotation marks, put dot, dot is it I can't tell I think it's dot dot I'm sure uh, or is it dot dot like that I'm sure it's like that and then our kicker so then oops you are kicked by the kicker just like that so now when we go and get kicked from the game it will say oops you are kicked by it's underscore floppy fish now keep in mind you do not have to add this local kicker in here if you just want to have a, a custom set message on what you actually want to say you're also able to do that but once you've gone and finished adjusting everything head up here click on the X button next to your script Click on here, also X button next to your local script, and then we can go test it out. You don't have to go test out in the main Roblox page. You can just click test up here, and then select two players, local server, and then you want to go and click on start over here. 
Then two separate Roblox Studio windows will open up, which will allow you to be able to test out the game. As you guys can see, we are now in the base play, and if I go click on our button here, we'll be prompted to purchase the developer product. We go and purchase the developer product. This is just a test, test purchase. And as you guys can see, we have now just gone and kicked the other player. The player is no longer in the server. The person who purchased the developer product doesn't get kicked because why would you want to get kicked when you purchase a developer product? It doesn't make sense. But as you guys can see now, we have been kicked from the game. You were kicked from this experience. Oops, you were kicked by player two and that is what our player username was. So obviously, if it was, let's say, a Kung Fu Panda, then it would say you are kicked by Kung Fu Panda. Now, obviously, a player cannot rejoin here. They just have to click leave and then obviously they will leave the server and they will have to rejoin. This will not permanently ban, permanently ban them. They will be able to just rejoin. But this is just if you are wanting to edit into your game to uh, uh, troll people. This is also another great way to monetize your game and another great way on how you can actually get some additional revenue just by from this system. If you guys are a little bit lost, do don't really know what you're doing, feel free to create a ticket to my Discord server and we will happily help you out. But anyway guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you did enjoy, I'd appreciate it if you do consider subscribing to the channel, turning on the notification bell and also do consider liking the video, I'd really appreciate it. But anyway, have a lovely rest of your day and I'll see everyone in the next Roblox Studio video.